Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, July 21st and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. First up, a lot of Google Search Console things going on. Um, we were tipped off um, that there was a new beta being developed and being tested out for the Google Search Console. We have tons of screenshots of that new beta. Um, you might be able to access it by going to that URL search.google.com slash search hyphen console um, if you're part of the beta. And this is the new navigation on the left-hand side. Um, you might see a link in the old Google Search Console for this. And here's some screenshots showing off the new user interface around it. Um, it looks pretty much like the uh, new mobile-friendly testing tool and the new speed test and all this other stuff. And I'm not, not exactly sure what types of new features are going to be in here. The features in this report look pretty similar. There are some new buttons in here, which I don't fully understand what they do. And just for full transparency, Alan um, uh, was in the Search Console beta. He didn't realize he had the NDA. He shared it with us, telling me it was okay to publish. We published it on Search Engine Land. About a half hour, 30, uh, 60 minutes later, he told us he messed up. It was He was under NDA. He wasn't allowed to share it. But by then, everybody was sharing it on social media. The screenshots were out. And once it's public, I do share the information. People mess up. It's not the end of the world. It's not like he's leaking information about U.S. secret, uh, U.S. government secrets or something. Uh, but it is out, and uh, it is helpful. I think everybody is very excited for this, and we're very excited for this. Um, again, also, you might be able to actually see those links um, in the Google Search Console over here. Here's another screenshot that was leaked. There's screenshots being leaked all over the place by people who are NDAs. Um, I'm not part of the NDA. I'm not part of the uh, beta. I have no access to this. Um, and you can see there's a link also to the new feature. Um, talking about Google Search Console, earlier this week we, we noticed that the people were complaining specifically about the impression changes in the Search Analytics report, specifically around average position. People were saying their average position drastically dropped. Uh, we thought it was a bug. It's not a bug. It's actually a change to how Google measures certain types of data. Uh, and Google wrote, um, I think a day or so later after we reported it, that they specifically changed how um, how they actually measure the lower position. Google said there's an incremental improvement in Google's logging system now provides a better accounting for results in the lower positions. Google explained that this change might cause increase in impressions, but also a decrease in average positions. Uh, and it doesn't affect, obviously, your rankings. Your rankings are going to remain the same. It's just how Google reports those rankings in the Search Console analytics tool. Um, there's a little note there now. Um, so that you, if you do notice the dip, you'll be able to go ahead and click on that and learn more about what happened. So you don't have to freak out. Nothing really has changed outside of how Google reports that information. Uh, last thing with Google Search Console is that they added a new filter uh, for those who have um, job listings and de job list details um, schema added to their markup, and it's showing up in the search results. So last week, or a month ago, Google added schema markup for those who want to mark up their pages with job listings. Um, and before that, they announced, obviously, the Google for Jobs search and so forth. Now, if you go to Search Appearance and you have a markup and your listings are showing up in the Google search results, you could actually go ahead and filter by Search Appearance, filter Search Appearance by Rich Results, AMP, um, of course, job listings and job details if you have that markup. And Google will then show you how much um, traffic, impressions, et cetera, you're getting from those specific job listings, which is nice to see. The difference between job listings and job details is job listings are basically the listings, the summary view. Job details is when you click into one, it actually shows you the details. And then Google will actually show you that, that mark, the, the analytics around that. Um, so talking about Webmaster uh, Search Console, we, Bing has been having errors with their Webmaster Tools features. They haven't updated in over several, I think a year or so. But now when you click around in the Webmaster Tools in Bing, you're getting these error pages constantly left and right. Um, I think it appears a lot of people are complaining about it. They're like, why do we even bother using uh, Bing Webmaster Tools? Dwayne Forrester is no longer there. Bing is not doing the uptick on maintenance that Google's doing, et cetera. Um, so it's very interesting to see that come out this week as well. Uh, Google simply cannot get away from their page rank metric. People are constantly talking about it, even though Google's saying no longer updates their toolbar page rank. Um, but it's really their fault. And now Google's kind of blaming Moz because Moz has their domain authority, and people are selling links now based off of domain authority. Really, um, Moz wouldn't have domain authority if it wasn't for Google PageRank. And since PageRank is dead, at least the toolbar page rank, which we see, the, one, the 0 through 10 score, um, is dead, we're not able to access it. 
SEOs or webmasters are looking at something else, another metric called domain authority. Um, Neil Patel, a well-known marketer, does a lot of promotion, uh, said why domain authority is more important than PageRank. His logic was because you can't access the tool or PageRank anymore, you have nothing to use, you should use domain authority. Of course, Google doesn't want you to use any of these types of metrics. Just make your website really good, get great links from naturally and so forth um, and, so, and so forth. And it's funny because you see Gary here uh, from Google commenting about it. Um, being very upset. Again, this is a topic that's very sore for Google um, and it's very interesting to see this information. Uh, machine learning. It's not just used for Google and ranking and so forth, but people could use it to generate content and human consumption, human, especially content for generating human consum uh, consumption around content. So specifically, if you generate tools and you use machine learning and different type of technologies to write a story that is designed for humans, is that okay? Could you generate automated generated content or with a machine learning algorithm or whatever algorithms you want to do that is specifically designed to generate content for human consumption? Is that okay? And Gary said, we're thinking a lot about this, but we don't have much to say about that. Honestly, I would say no, but now that Google's saying, oh, I'm thinking about it, it might be okay, it might not be okay, etc. It might be okay. I'm surprised by this. Uh, Google might go ahead and say something about this after I wrote about it, but they're saying, basically saying you can't do generate automated, they're saying we're not sure, we're, maybe yes or no, you can generate, can or cannot generate human, uh, ge automated generated content based on the factor that you're generating it for human consumption, not for bots. Very interesting topic, definitely take a look at that. Um, Gary from Google said there is no SEO benefit specifically around having trust seals on your website, so a Better Business Bureau logo or any other like type of trust seal um, that you might have on your website that says, oh, we're a trusting site, you have a logo on there. That doesn't really help your SEO specifically. Google said they do not penalize for meta keyword spamming, so if you stuff your meta keywords with tons of spam keywords, they won't penalize on it because they ignore it. They don't even see it. Um, this is an old topic, but again, Google's came, coming right out and saying we don't penalize for what you put in your meta keywords. Google's testing a fade away version of the people also search for box. So what happens is, here's a screenshot. Uh, if you click on any of these results or go somewhere else, it would actually fade away. You could actually click the X for it to fade away as well. Um, Google is also testing a new mobile design around that mobile interface, you know, the more minimalistic version, which we showed you before. But this one is actually has light green and light blue um, links and titles and so forth. Google's constantly testing these interfaces. Google's also testing a darker AMP logo to get more awareness around AMP. Um, so this is from Alina. You can see the darker AMP logo. Usually it's a light gray. There's a darker logo over there. Um, Google's also testing or launching, I haven't seen it myself, but vote for um, tags. So what happens is you bring up a movie in Google search results. And then you have this little box here that says vote for tags. And then this box comes up saying, all right, give it a click on the tags that are rela re uh, related to it. It's unconvincing movie. It's a strong acting movie. It's overhyped. And Google will use this to go ahead and help their searchers figure out what's what with that movie. Um, Google AdWords editor, report editor, which is an amazing tool for AdWords advertisers. If you're not using it, definitely take a look at the AdWords reporting, report editor. Now lets you compare two different date ranges. So if you have your report and you want to compare to two different date ranges, you could do that. Same thing you could do in Google Analytics, but now it's in the report editor, which is nice. Google has expanded their home service ads to the East Coast in five different metro areas, so that's pretty cool. The home service areas look like this, and now it's, it's, they're expanding it out, which is a nice thing to do, you do and specifically in the East Coast and other areas. Google Analytics added a really cool feature that's rolling out where you can actually ask it a human-generated question. You can just say, Google, yeah, say, but type, you know, what, show me all traffic from India that is from Bing or something like that. And it will actually figure out and build a report based on your human-generated question, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's Google, Google Analytics um, Ask Intelligence. And finally, Matt McGee is the latest to announce that he's leaving the search industry. Matt McGee is obviously the, or was the, um, the, the, um, the, um, the uh, I guess the, the, the associate editor at Search Engine Land. He ran the day-to-day -day stuff at Third Door Media, um, and he left. Uh, he announced that he's leaving. He left actually on fr last Friday, um, and he's one of the many people who have left the search industry over the past. Uh, couple months or so. In any event, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz Video Recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz and this is Search News we covered over at the Search Roundtable, seroundtable.com over the past week. Everyone have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next. Bye.